All right, guys, how's it going? I think I've actually fallen in love with this add-on, <laughs> and it's called Polyquilt. Now, this was released in July 2019, and it just recently received an update, like two days ago, and it actually works with the latest daily build. Now, can I guarantee it'll work with your Blender version? No, but we can certainly take a look at it. Now, in short, Polyquilt is actually a modeling tool, so I'll tab into edit mode and you'll see that we have this icon on the left hand side. Now personally, I'm not a fan of the icon, it's a bit chunky for me, but it's the tools that matter. So we'll enable the tool and you can see up in the top that we have several options. You can also press N to bring up the properties and we can see it here in tool. So we have several different options. Now let me just show you one feature that I really do like about this add-on. Now we have quad selected and I can hover over edge, polygons, edges and points. So let's say I hover over this edge and I hold down the left mouse button and then I drag. Check it out, we have loop cut. So again, hold down the mouse, drag up or down or left or right and we get an instant loop cut. Now this is a really good feature, it feels a lot more interactive when it comes to cutting things. And you don't need to jump in and out of menus or use shortcuts. But that isn't the power of this add-on. So we'll keep the geometry enabled on quad and this time I'm going to mirror my selection. And I'll come up here and I'll just quickly draw something out. So something like this. So you can see how quickly we can actually generate topology. And this could be a great tool for doing something like retopology. Now one thing you can do is, if you actually hold down shift over an edge for example, and click, you can actually fill in geometry and it kind of extrudes itself, so check this out. Honestly, having tools like this in your workflow just saves you so much time. And I really do love it. So again, if you hover over shift, it'll generally go in the axis of the normals. But we can start building in topology really quick. Now let's take a look at some of the other options we have. Now you'll notice that we have move options, so I can do it on the X, Y and Z axis. I can even move in the normal or the tangent. But we're on free move at the moment, so that means when I select a point, I can actually just quickly manipulate the point. Now another option is, if we zoom into the mesh here, if we hold in the mouse button, you'll see this little circle. That actually deletes points from the mesh. So if we just hold it in, so this is just a really quick way for deleting points or vertices. So all you do is hold in the button, you'll see a little circle, Bob's your uncle. And this is what I mean by this tool, it's so easy just to model with. So we'll quickly take a look at some of the other geometry options. And there was a user asking for modal, I would just like a vertex tool. So we'll look at vertex, I'll disable mirror, and I'll quickly jump into my top view. And what I'll do here is, I'll just draw some points. Now, if I hold the shift key in and just click, you can see that we can fill the vertex points in. So let's draw a couple more points. All I'm doing here is drawing points with the left mouse, pressing shift and clicking in between. How cool is that? Seriously, how, how good is this tool? <laughs> now this video is getting pretty long. And there is several different options to this add-on. I highly recommend that you install it. It's also available for free. I'll put the link in the description down below. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter because I've got no mates. You know what to do. Peace.